Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to make any Android smartphone take photo automatically after every few seconds. So, with any further more delay, let's begin. So, as you can see here, my Android smartphone's home screen. So, what you need to do is you need to open any web browser. And you need to visit to this website link. I'll be providing this website link too in the video descriptions. So you can click there and visit to this website. Once you visit to this website, you can see one application name is Chrono Snap. Tag photos in interval. So just scroll down below. And you can see here download APK 0 0.9 megabytes. Just tap on it. So you can see it's downloading now. So once the download is complete, just tap on this file, click on install. Now click on open. Now you'll be asked some permissions. Just tap on continue below. Click OK. Now here you can see start capture but on the right top corner you can see a settings button just tap on it so here you will see interval so you can change the time intervals depending upon your needs you can make it a uh, four seconds three seconds two seconds or even one seconds you can change the time interval so say i just want to keep five seconds you can change the hours minutes also just for your reference I'm just selecting the default one five seconds click OK and you can select a limit also none means it's limitless it's beyond 100 200 it depends on your phone internal storage or SD card storage so if you put on none then it will keep on clicking until your phone or SD card storage is being filled up so here what I will do I'll just click on none I'll keep it as it is but you can choose up to 10 emails also I'll just keep it as default and you can see here you can choose the camera which one you want to use the back or the front so here I will keep it as back camera and you can see your focus so you want the focus as auto or none or none means manually I'll keep it as auto now once your all settings is done just move back now you can see your start capture but before making you clear that when you click on start capture you won't see any screen here so I will highly recommend you to make an adjustment with the default camera applications the locations where you are standing it's fitting your camera prime or not but if you just want to test then directly you can use it but this application will not show any interference so it will just turn on the default camera and it will just start clicking without showing you any camera preview so let me show you when I click on start click so let us check it out what it does just tap once no need to tap and hold just tap once the start capture and after every five seconds it will start capturing so we'll check it out so just tap on the start capture click on start So I'll just click on stop capture. I have taken a three pictures right now. So the picture will be automatically saved in your photos applications or the gallery. So let's check it out by going in the gallery apps or in the photo apps. So you can see here I'll be showing the respective photos just which I have captured. As you can see, I have taken a three pictures. So you can see it. 
This application uses the default camera which comes with your respective Android smartphones. So if you're using a third party camera then you don't use the third party camera but it will use the stock camera whether you are using any respective Android devices. So you can do a settings. This photo frame was taken in the 4 is to 3 frame. So if you want a 16 is to 9 frame then you need to customize it in your stock camera before using this chrono snap. So you can see after every few seconds this applications start capturing photos of different positions so you can see so this is really a cool application if you're in a need of uh, camera applications we can capture photo automatically after every few seconds so if you never known about this cool application then try it out today and if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching